Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. In the past week I started noticing an attempt or a pressure uh, put by the Ukrainian mass media at the orders of their handlers to um, I would say overemphasize uh, certain um, labels that they would try to attach to the Russian military and Russian leadership which is crimes against uh, humanity that's one of them so if they spoke about this before crimes 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 now they're trying to elevate that to like the mainstream narrative being crimes against humanity that's mass murder and so on it was before but now they try to portray it in a different light by using numbers and all kind of um i won't say evidence because the evidence has to be you know um analyzed by the other the opposite party and put forth and so on which is not it's just what they say i can say that three moons in on the sky and i say i see them you don't see them it's your problem so that's uh, one example here we have an um the uh, i think this started the um, over emphasizing the you know war crimes uh, and uh, disaster gonna go to a genocide i already mentioned it a few times I think it's it's it started when the Amnesty International uh, came with that report stating that uh, Ukraine's uh, violated international law and, hum and humanitarian uh, terms uh, by deliberately uh, use civilians as um, human uh, shields. So that gets me to, and I think since then the the Ukrainians are trying to counter it, not by denying or not denying, by denying by bringing evidence to to uh, no, counter arguments, counter evidence to what Amnesty International um, found and concluded, but by calling Amnesty International um, staff and the institution as being, uh, you know, calling them names like they do here, like children do in the parking lot, because it's hard to and you, you can't. What evidence are you going to do? You're going to bring up. That's one thing. And then the other thing is by trying to say, oh, we're doing this, this bad thing they don't confirm it but say oh you talk about us doing this oh, see what the Russians are doing like two two bad things we're gonna do a good thing you know together two wrongs will do a right somehow but it's good that they pointed out I'm not saying that they should not but I should be focused on the on the findings against me and I would say okay all right here's the evidence let's see if, if it's true or not but they didn't bother to say that they said no it's not true and you are this you are this you are this you are this and that's my defense I mean like it, it, it works in other kind of uh, areas, but it doesn't work in, uh, uh, in Roman law, or at least what we used to have in uh, our civilization here. So this, this uh, article comes from Ukraine Forum, and it's um, coming from today, the 14th of uh, August 2022, and this is the title. Russian invaders commit 28,200 crimes in Ukraine, prosecutors say. Now, let's see, let's see. Since February 24th, Ukrainian law enforcers have registered 41,412 criminal cases related to full-scale invasion by Russia. 41,412 criminal cases. The prosecutor general's office reported the update on Telegram. You can inform so. And I'm uh, <laughs> 41,412. A total of 21,231 crimes of aggression and war crimes have been registered. Of them, 27,143 into violations of the laws and customs of war. 73 into planning preparation initiation and waging of a war of aggression 28 into propaganda of war and 987 other crimes in addition ukrainian law enforcement registered 13181 crimes against national security of which 9099 are related to encroachment of the territorial integrity and inviolability of Ukraine. 1571 to 
to treason, 1,860 to collaboration with the enemy, 127 to aiding and abetting the aggressor state, 64 to sabotage, and 460 other crimes. I will point out here the 1,571 to treason and 1,860 to collaborating with the enemy. They will get to more than 3,300, 400. So 3,400 of this kind of arrests or crimes or whatever. Remember when Stalin had uh, <clears throat> a few purges? Remember that we have evidence that uh, due to Stalin's orders, you know, crimes against the uh, Soviet Union and uh, 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 Soviet uh, uh, Communist Party, uh, there were about 20, 20, 20 million people who uh, lost their lives during these uh, purges. And I can in, uh, also include uh, the Holodomor, uh, 8,000 8, again, what the? 8 million uh, Ukrainians, they say between 6 million to, uh, we can't use 6, oh my bad, Ooh, that was a wrong, no, 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 6, I take it back, <laughs> suck it back in, no, 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 uh, between, I don't know, let's say 5 million, <laughs> and about 12 million Ukrainians who died of starvation, order starvation, through the actions of uh, um, the Communist Party, Soviet Communist Party, which in charge was a Gruzin, uh, Joseph Stalin, and there were some people who took care of stuff, uh, which were from the you know the guys in charge uh, like you have now KGB and others and there were uh, if you remember Kaganovich which was a another uh, <laughs> Russian just check him out and then not only that there's some other one Yogoda check Yogoda as well and you find him and um, so now we go to this and um, so those were yes were, were crimes against humanity if you want to take it that way uh, no, not that way. They were. So why did I bring Stalin and that? It was because when Stalin uh, issued those orders, people, uh, you know, um, paid back their uh, unfriendly neighbors, uh, if they could, by uh, reporting them and being arrested like, hey, they are collaborators or they are against the Soviet uh, Union and they are against Soviet uh, Communist Party and so on. They got arrested and sent to Gulag or just shot in the back of the head. Now, I don't want to say that those 3,400 that we have over there are all uh, of that kind, but I assume there were some, you know, payback time for certain people because we're human. The same, Stalin did not sign all those names, lists, because he knew the people, but it was because he gave, uh, you know, he issued those uh, statements, orders, uh, directives, however you want to call them. And according to that, some people, bad dudes, uh, not bad dudes, I would say humans with bad intentions, they uh, did this and then they just put forth, you know, their neighbor got their house, their this, their, whatever they had to do. And they put over there, Stalin signed it, and they were killed or sent to the gulags and so on and tortured. Now that's how it works. Now was Stalin knew all those 20 million and up? No, he didn't, but he issued those things, those uh, orders. And in the name, name of those orders, people uh, uh, acted as we act, act as humans. And why am I using that? Because I don't have a very uh, positive view on us if we don't uh, have self-restraint and we don't have values. But we, in order to have values, we have to fight for them. So I don't know if those uh, 3,400 is not a case of that. Uh, you know, issued orders against uh, treason and uh, uh, collaboration, and some people just trickle. When you hear, oh, those guys were arrested, he collaborated. We don't know, they just tell us, like Stalin. Well, they collaborated. Well, do you have any evidence? No, you have to believe what the Ukrainians are saying, and what can you do? You just, I'm just reporting here, but I have, um, I'm not saying I have doubts, but I'm saying, um, yeah, I have doubts that those, those guys were, uh, but I don't have evidence to, my only evidence is history historical evidence and the same kind of human don't think that the Ukrainians are a different kind of human being or something uh, I know they want to portray themselves like that or try to be portrayed you know like that but that's not so he says as Ukraine reported earlier with reference to the prosecutor general's office 711 children were injured in Ukraine due to Russian aggression 
And then we have Amnesty International report exposes Ukraine's violation of international law, deliberate use of civilians as human shields. So all those n numbers over there, including the children and the damages, these guys attacking schools, the, the human rights organization Amnesty International released a report Thursday showing that Ukrainian forces have put civilians in harm's way by establishing bases and operating weapon systems in populated residential areas, including in schools and hospitals. I rest my case. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, I'm not trying to absolve the Russians of anything. I'm trying to drag the angels as well and this one in the middle. Th that's all I'm trying to do. So you're not angels. You're not angels. You are. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.